My name is Paul and I am doing a project on the Brainwave Control RC car. The box you see here is the vital thing in the project. If you open this box, you'll see a sensor pad protector with some charger, a Bluetooth dongle and my neuro headset that I'm wearing right now. This headset uh, transmits to the PC in Bluetooth and I would like to show you what's called the control panel. This software allows me uh, allows to detect and interpret my brainwave signals in three different suits. I'll be talking about two suits and the first suit I'll be talking about is the expressive suit. This suit interprets the user's facial expression. So you can see there's an avatar on the screen and when I do a facial expression the avatar will mimic my expression. For example, if I clench my teeth, the avatar on the screen clenches their teeth. Same goes for raising my eyebrow, um, put the text, no, um, smile, blinking, blinking, and so on. The next suit is the cognitive suit. This cognitive suit um, manipulates data and you can control this virtual cube using the power of your mind. There are some training processes to go through, minimum training processes. And the more you train, the more skills you get. So my overall skill rating is only 19% for this user. So the higher you get, the more accurate this box will move. I'll be using this data to control the RC car. All the operation in practice now. I'll close my teeth and the RC, will cut, RC car will move right. And the trigger time is only 100 milliseconds. You can see slowly it's turning right. About the cognitive suit, um, I've conditioned it so it only triggers for half a second. And how this works is when I, whenever I think of push movement, this car will produce a forward output. And this is how it works. In conclusion, this project has worked successfully. However, there are many improvements that can be made. Uh, better accuracy, and you can use the same principle on electric wheelchairs or smart house lighting and so on. And thanks for watching this video.